There are other things in a customer's home where they're in their heads, they are comparing themselves with other neighbors. And so this takes us to our next brand strategy, which is client confidentiality. This is super important. When a customer asks you about a neighbor, it could be a neighbor that they recommended you to, or it could be a neighbor that they know hires you, but maybe they don't know them very well or what have you. Sometimes they'll talk about their neighbors. And I've had this happen lots of times where the neighbors do know each other and they've talked and I was brought in by referral from someone. Then they want to talk to me about their neighbors because that is the common denominator that we have. We both know this person, right? So it's very natural for the customer to start talking about the neighbor. Now, as a house cleaner, part of your brand is that you don't talk about your neighbors or you don't talk about your clients or you don't talk about the client's neighbors or that you don't talk about any of your cleaning customers to any of the other cleaning customers. This is imperative as part of your brand strategy. Here's the reason why. Anything you say can get back to the person that you're talking to, right? Number one. Number two, it's going to make them think in their own head, well, does she talk like this about me to the other neighbors, right? So if they say something negative about the neighbors and you chime in, you immediately have lost or broken their trust. So you want to be very careful that you don't talk about anyone. Now, there are scenarios where we've had five and six customers on the same street and they all know each other and they all talk about me, which is how I got the referral, or they talk about the people in my company, right? What you have to do when the customer starts talking about the neighbor is you just literally zip your mouth and don't say a word. And if they ask for any kind of feedback, just say, oh, they're a lovely customer and we are so blessed that they're a part of our, our network of customers. That's it. That's it. And then sometimes they will start talking, oh, can you believe what her teenage daughter did or whatever? And you just say, hey, you know what, out of client confidentiality and respect for all of our customers, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. So if you have questions about the neighbor and her daughter, you may just want to ask them directly because I, I'm unable to give you those answers. And when you just deflect it and you're kind and courteous, but you say, we have a policy in our company that we're, we're unable to talk about our other customers or the neighbors or whatever, you know, then the customers know really quickly, oh, that's off, off subject. And so then they won't press you for those details. But I can't tell you how many times we have been hired for the reason, the one reason, this is the one reason we have been hired. We heard that you keep our family secrets, our family secrets. And these are not deep, dark family secrets, but if there's a troubled teenager or there's somebody going through a difficult time or a divorce or something like that, they don't want their neighbors to know, right? So if they hire a house cleaner, they want to know that whatever's going on inside their personal home stays inside their personal home. So this is a huge brand strategy just in, and you don't have to advertise it even, but when you're talking to a customer and they start bringing up the commonalities with their neighbors, and it could be people that live in the neighborhood, it could be generalized people, don't, don't talk. Don't, don't say, well, one of my customers, don't, even if you're not using names, you don't want to tell any stories to any of your customers at all, ever, okay? And the reason being is because they will think that you're talking about them when they're not there.